Uh, what I used to do, though, insofar as the stops, whether it be the train or the bus, in the beginning, I would make a copy of all of the stops for myself in Braille. And as, you know, you have to concentrate, because if you miss a stop, it could confuse you. Absolutely. So I would just concentrate, and uh, I would scratch the, uh, the, the ones off until mm -hmm. I knew, until I got to a point where I knew it by heart and I didn't need the Braille sure. sheet. And then to break through in this music business, which is so highly competitive. Well, it's been, it, it was and has been tough. Uh, I'll tell you, one of the things that's, that, that's happened with me, for example, is since I don't wear glasses, uh, for example, a lot of advertising companies don't want me to advertise their products because, as they put it, I don't look blind enough. Mm. And um, the reason I got rid of glasses is because I'm tired of seeing people who are blind stereotyped all the time that they, ha they have to wear glasses. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, ever since then, it's been a little rougher with me because I don't look the part. You really don't? No. You really no. don't. But you wore glasses at one time. Yes, right? I did. Yeah. At one time I did, and then I had myself taken care of uh, cosmetically. But after that... school, Jose, I mean, yeah. how, what was the breakthrough? Did you take the guitar somewhere and audition for well, a guy at a music house? Well, what I did, Regis, you know, my father was a very strict man when it came to me. Well, actually, when it came to all of us, and I guess he meant well, but... I, uh, I started playing in Greenwich Village with, uh, with people like Bob Dylan and Peter, Paul, and Mary. But before I even met them, I, would, I played in the smaller clubs in the village. And the way I would get auditions is I'd go over there, and I'd ask if they needed anybody or if I could come in and play at night. At first, they would tell me no because I was blind, and they, and they figured, well, you know, it would be an embarrassment or whatever. And I would go up there, and I'd tune my guitar. And once I started playing, uh, you know, mm. that went by the wayside, and I would get hired. and. I'd start drawing people, and it was, it was a good feeling. Ah, and that's how it all started yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you've had a brilliant career since then, both performing and writing songs. Well, God has been really good to me in that, in that respect. Um, uh, I'm not uh, trying to be a religious type of guy in an organized religion, but mm -hmm. uh, I will say that without the good Lord giving me these gifts, I think that I would have been selling pencils on the corner somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to play a little something for us today? Well,